episode of the Sports Box is sponsored by DJ Cruz, a.k.a. Anthony Cruz. For all your DJ and event planning needs, call Anthony at 609-513-6395. And mention you saw him on the Sports Box. Well, hello again, and make sure you don't let your kids leave the table unless they finish their vegetables and eat their and watch their Sports Box. This is the Sports Box. The only thing that matters is right here. I am Mike Galetta, a.k.a. Hampton Mike, along with my partner, Brian, the Ranger at Tar. Brian, how, how are you? I'm fantastic, sir. How about you? Oh, I'm God. Doing you know, I always see you, like, you know, for hours at a time, so, you know, asking how you're doing repetitiously is always good. Well, okay, so I think, I, what if my mood changes? Yeah, that's true. My mood changes. I mean, your mood... What I mean? To your, to your credit, you're very consistently angry. There's no I am. Change. I am you're, very You angry. always have that anger, you know? Hey, yeah, exactly. I should be called the Hulk, but I'm not as big as the Hulk. But anyway, maybe just get Lou Ferrigno on the show. Yeah. Maybe that'd be good. See what you can do. Yeah. Lou, if you're out there, give, give a call, Lou. Come. We'd love to have you on the show. Anyway, we're going to talk about, this is All-Star Weekend, we're going to talk a little bit about the All-Star Games, good, bad, pros, cons, whatever. Um, you know, Brian, I think should, this should be pretty fun. I wrote down some stuff for you, so this should be good. Let's start with the football the Pro Bowl. I personally think the Pro Bowl sucks, and it should be, you know, they should just eliminate it. I think maybe they should have a quarterback challenge, because um, there's no hitting in this game anymore. If you watch the Pro Bowl, which, yeah, believe it or not, you can bet on it. What a surprise. But anyway, um, I watched a quarter of it the one day, and when I saw linemen just get up and just touch people, and there, there hasn't been a solid hit or a big hit since 2011 when Sean Taylor hit uh, Brian Moorhead, the punter, on a fake punt. Sean Taylor came up, and people watched that. Absolutely smoked them. Morehead went out of the field, congratulated them. But there hasn't been a hit since then. And, and there's just, the, nobody goes. You know, you got the two teams in the Super Bowl, NFL, the, the Patriots and the Falcons. They're not going. Guys are turning down this stuff. And like, <coughs> I, I just don't know what you do with this game. You know, they've tried to make it more relevant. It used to be every year in Hawaii, Aloha Stadium, the year we got the Super Bowl. <laughs> now they're putting it in between the conference championship and the Super Bowl yeah. to try to make it more relevant. Yeah. Listen, if you're betting the Pro Bowl, you are a special kind of degenerate. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I mean, you know, again, I don't think many people are going to watch this game. I don't think anybody really cares. And, and you know, again, you're right. Players, they, they decline. They don't want to go. It's like, you know, it, it's like a throw around. You know, it's like practice. They don't, you know, we're just talking about practice, man. It's just, it, nobody cares. And I think that, you know, <coughs> I understand why they do it, but I just don't think anybody really cares to watch it. So I think Trevor Seaman actually turned down. I think it's a pro point. I'm should be turned down anyway. But, you know, and he says, maybe they should have a quarterback challenge. I thought a wide receiver challenge, a running back challenge. You know, have the positional players, have the kickers move around the field, make the goalposts smaller, do something like that, make defensive tackle dummies. Do something like a skills challenge. I, I don't mind. I don't mind recognizing the players for for great years, but right. again, right. because of the format now, again, no Tom Brady, no Matt Ryan, no Julio Jones, no Legarrette Blunt, no Le'Veon these, Bell, yeah. Ben Roethlisberger's not going. Yeah. So none of these guys I mean, deserve to go. Who, going. If, if you just lost your conference championship game, you right, go to the Pro do you Bowl. really want to go to the Pro Bowl? Yeah. And those are the so those are the four best teams in the yeah. NFL, right? right. The and, two they're going to Super Bowl and these two. And the only way these guys are going is because they have something in their agreement saying that they get more money right. down the road if they go to a Pro Bowl. So uh, Pro Bowl waste. Yeah. Now let's go to the NBA basketball uh, you know, All Star game. In this game, let me tell you, they had the rookie game in the beginning, which is okay. You see some guys that are coming up in the league, they're rookies. It, sometimes it's fun, but the three point competition and the dunk contest. I know they're, they're regular things in the basketball thing, but how many times can you dunk a basketball? I mean, really. It, it, you, know, you had Jordan Lee from the foul line. You had guys 360. You get guys blindfolded. You get people jumping over people. I don't know how many times you dunk the ball. And as for the game itself, folks, last year's score, does anybody take a guess? Okay, I'll, I'll do it for you. 196 to 173. Is there any kind of defense? Did the over hit? Uh, yeah, I think the over did hit, actually. Well, if it was 360, the over hit. Um, you know, what's going on? You, you make a basket. Guys are leaving each other open. You know, you think they're trying to foul LeBron James and, and get an offensive foul on him? No. It's ridiculous. I don't know what you do for basketball. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to date myself here, but this game every year reminds me of Rock and Jock from MTV. It, it is. You so know, it, it, with like a, a mix of the Harlem Globetrotters. I mean... You know, again, I mean, I, I know it's there. You know, it's TV. Some people are going to watch it. Right. And guess what? Hey, there's going to be a theme here. Hey, if you're betting the NBA All-Star game, you are a special kind of degenerate. Well, How about that? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's got no interest in me. I'm not a huge basketball guy to begin with, but even that, I mean, it's 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 nice. To, I personally rather watch the three-point shooting contest and the dunk contest than the, the actual three game. The three-point, I guess, is a little bit is a little bit out there because, you know, just long-range guys are specialists and stuff. How do you make it better? But I understand what you're saying with the dunk contest. How many, how many different ways I can mean, you dunk a ball? Right. And it's really subjective. 
You know, it's just an opinion yeah. of who has a better dunk. I mean, I see guys who are dunking two balls, they're going behind their back. Been, that's fine, that's great, but how many times yeah. are you going to do it? I, I, I think it's weathered. I don't know if you try something else. Again, a skills competition would be nice. You know, maybe passes. Um, doing this, doing that, maybe that would help doing something like that. I don't know. I, I just thought it would be a little bit better. The NHL All-Star Game, we we're big hockey guys. Um, you know, we're kind of both on agreement with the NHL hockey game. Um, the format they went to last year, they're going to go to again this year. They have three separate games, and, you know, it's kind of a round-robin thing, but I, I, and the 404 makes it wide open. You have faster play and all. Uh, Brian, I don't know if that's the answer either. It's not. It, yeah. It's really not. And, you know, the hockey all-star game, again, and, and this goes for all these games, even going through eventually, there's no real defense really being played. Right. Although in hockey, there is a little more because you have to. You have to have goaltending and everything. But these right. are high-scoring games, you know, naturally. I, I think about the hockey all-star game is you're going to see, like, moments that you remember. Mm -hmm. I think anybody who watches hockey remembers 1997, Owen Nolan yeah. called his shot, took his shot and scored in yep. his home arena in San Jose. Yep. But, again, I mean, these are things that... You know, it, it, it's good to recognize players. I'm not saying anything against that. This divisional format, though, I think is just uh, stupid. Yeah. Having said that, though, it's a marked improvement over what they were trying to do with these fantasy drafts, where there was, like, yeah. you know, Team Stahl and Team Lidstrom. And t that was ridiculous. This is a little bit better than that. Yeah. But, again, I just I, I think too often with the NHL All-Star game, and, and, and pro probably even the NBA, too. You know, we mentioned with the NBA, you know, Joel Embiid didn't get in. Yeah. You know, it's, there's always the most in, the most interesting thing to me about any of these games we've mentioned mm -hmm. is the snubs and, and why you start yeah. making the case. We that can do a whole amazing. show on the snubs. Yeah, I mean, some so, of the guys like that should be there, like Embiid, he probably should have been there and things like that. Yes, even uh, Westbrook should have been a starter. But in any sense, the, the skills competition in the NHL I do like. Yes, I, I do I mean, like that. I think it's I think it's good competition. The thing with the NHL, I just think every year they're trying to mix it up a little bit more and never keep anything consistent. If you're going to keep something consistent for five years and then change it, that's different. Every year they're trying something different. I don't know if that's that's the way to go either with the NHL. But it, they're just trying to stay relevant, you know? And, yeah, and I think, that's true, too. And, and I think yeah. that speaks a lot to the fact that people just don't care. So you're trying to give them a reason to care. You're trying to keep it fresh. You're trying to give them something to want to watch. And to your point, Mike, it's not working. But, you, but you're also trying for them to watch a sport now that's not really the sport itself. You're, you're trying round robin events. You're trying different stuff. I, I, don't, I don't know. But I guess we're all different. But it, anyway, the last one, the baseball um, the the All Star Game. Um, okay, you have the home run derby. People like the home run yes. derby, but again, how many times are you going to hit a home run with this? I I think it's kind of weathered where you have three rounds. Last year you had G. Carlos Stanton won the won the home run competition with three rounds. He ended up hitting sixty one home runs. Okay, how many times did the guy swing now? He's swung like eighty something, ninety something times. I, I don't know how much you can change the home run derby to make it different. Um, you can't obviously make a skills competition in baseball. I don't know if you can run bases differently or speed competition. I don't know. I just feel like baseball. I know baseball is a little bit of the American game, and everybody likes to keep it the same and everything. But I just think the game is in itself is dumb to have a winner of that, and then you have the World Series based on that. I just think that's kind of stupid. Because if you have a team that's really good, and the other team won the All Star game, then you're kind of balancing out for both teams. I, I don't like that. You, you, I mean, uh, Seth Everett, who we had on during baseball, yep. made a great point. He said, you know, they want the game to count for something, and it's just, you know, it isn't fair, uh, especially when you're, you're talking about maybe even a championship being decided by something that happens in the All-Star game. Yeah. It, it's just yeah. not it, – it, it's not fair to that team, to be bluntly honest. Um, and not even that, but, I mean, you know – Ever since the game ended in a tie, they've been trying to find a way to, to, to make it yep. better. But again, I mean, baseball does it to itself. You know, they, they want to, you know, every pitcher pitches an inning, and you got to switch this player yeah, out. Now that player like out. You go through the whole pen, it's just. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's not just, managing the game, is what it's doing. You're just getting everybody some face time. Right. You know? And why even have managers there? Because yes. they're not doing anything in the game. Y yes. I mean, um, it's just. Where I'll disagree with you is I do like the home run derby. I think that those are the, the parts of All Star Weekend, where it's the home run derby in baseball or the hardest shot. In hockey, the three-point competition in They're basketball. Staples. Yeah, but those are the things that I think people tune in for. Those I think are interesting. Um, right. The game itself has no relevance. It, yeah. it really doesn't. They try to give it relevance. It ends up backfiring. It's just less. It's it's, it's advertising, right? Well, it's yeah. And, but you look at the home run, the the home thing. Uh, the winner gets the home at the end of the year, the World Series. They are trying to get somebody to watch the All Star Game because again, it's losing its stamina. The all these games. Okay, I know it's nice at the halfway point. Uh, not for football, but in any sense, it's their pro games, things like that. But they're just, a lot of them are unwatchable because they just don't care anymore. These athletes are making so much money. Obviously, injury is a factor. They don't want to get hurt because, you know, Eifert got hurt last year in the game. Mm -hmm. And that's what hurt them most of this year. But in the same sense, guys back out because they don't want to play in it. They just, they just don't care. Yeah, but to that point, 
They, 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 why should they get hurt for this game? I agree. They're, they're there to win championships. They're not there to do this. That's why I think skills competitions, although injuries could happen to them too, you, you have stuff like that. I think, that in, in, especially in the Pro Bowl, they don't want to do like the volleyball tournaments they had before because if you remember the running back for New England got hurt and tore his knee up on the beach the one year. I was probably going way back. But those are the kind of things they're looking out for. So that's why guys aren't going full tilt. But. I, don't know, I guess we can go round and round with this uh, yeah. with the All Star I mean, Games. It's just it's just not going to change, folks. I mean, unless right. they really dr dramatically change something that people are dying to watch, none of this is going to change. It's going to stay the same. Absolutely not. So, anyway, I got to cut your breath. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. good. I'm good. I don't have my medication, but I'm good. Um, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. So that's all the time we have for um, the All Star previews. Um, thanks for watching. We always love you, and we always are everywhere for you. Of course. Again, Twitter at face at, at Sports Box Show. Make sure you're uh, following us on Twitter. Uh, find us on Facebook at Sports Box Show. You can like us there. We post a lot. Mike does a real nice job of posting some breaking sports news on both all our social media content, so we're a great source there. And of course, subscribing to the YouTube channel. Our numbers have been blowing through the roof. We can't thank you guys so, so much. Um, you know, again, we want to bring you the content that you that you want to see. So if you have something that you want us to go over that we're not touching on, you know, let us know. Uh, you can comment. You can email us at the Sports Box Show at gmail.com. You can comment on Facebook, tweet us, whatever. Send us a a carrier pigeon with a note, a smoke signal, whatever. We're going to get it, and we're going to get you what you're looking for, because that's what we're here to do. We're here to give you the content that you want so that we're keeping you guys happy. And speaking of breaking news, we're going to break it here right down the All-Star game. That's right. Breaking news. Brian doesn't even know about it. We have officially set a date for the kick. The kick oh, is the kick. set. February 4th, folks, the Saturday before Super Bowl weekend, we are going to, well, I am going to attempt to kick again from 40 yards out. Okay? I, I'm feeling pretty good, Brian. Feeling good? Have the odds been set yet? Uh, no, but I went to Rothman uh, two weeks ago, and they told me I'm cleared. Clean bill of health? I'm ready to go. It's cleared, folks! I'm ready to go. 40-yard field goal, baby. Let's see if it, hopefully it doesn't snow. If it does snow, we're going to have to cancel it for a while. I'm not kicking the snow. So that's, that's injury. I could be out from the sports box for a while. I'm not doing it. So. And, and, of course, we're going to be broadcasting that on Facebook Live, so make sure you find us on Facebook because you don't want to miss this. I yeah. mean, the first one, Mike did make it from 35? 35. From 35, so, hey! It's respectable. Let's see what happens, right? Yeah. But well, if you definitely want, is definitely in the war. You want to make sure you're following us on Facebook to see that live. Yeah. And again, thanks everybody for, for following us, for liking us, for, for subscribing to us. Can't, can't, Subscribe. Can't it's it's going to be a must see. February 4th, folks, 11 o'clock in the morning. We will do this. Or actually, 11 o'clock is good. Yeah, 11 o'clock. Sure. No problem. So we'll have food out there. We'll have a little nine yards. Anyway, we'll have, we'll have a circus out there. Well, me kicking the circus. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, folks. We appreciate it. Remember, at Sports Box, the only opinion that matters is right here. Thanks for watching. See you. Don't forget to subscribe.